Sometimes you just want a cup of hot cocoa. So let's make one today that not only tastes good, but is nourishing for our body. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel, where we are passionate about healthy living and nutrition, and it really all begins in the kitchen. Today, we're going to be making a healing hot cocoa. Let's begin today by adding in one 13 and a half ounce can of light coconut milk to your blender. So coconut milk contains the type of MCTs that help fuel your brain. It also contains healthy fats, so that helps you feel full longer. Next, I'm going to add in one half of a cup of filtered water. You certainly can play around with the ratios here if you want to add in less of the coconut milk and more of the water or vice versa. It will all work out great. Next, we have two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder, which may help reduce the symptoms of depression and just improve an overall sense of well-being, which is super helpful during the colder months. One teaspoon of turmeric powder, which most of you know may help reduce inflammation in the body. One half of a teaspoon of Ceylon cinnamon, which tastes delicious and has many health benefits, one of which is it may help boost brain function. Next, we have 1 16th, more or less, a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, which may help support your digestion, and 1 16th a teaspoon of pink Himalayan or sea salt. Both are rich in essential minerals. This next ingredient is optional and just for taste, I'm going to add in one half of a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. For our sweetener today, I am going to use two tablespoons of local honey, which may help support seasonal allergies, but this is completely up to you. Use whatever sweetener works best for your body and your diet. Last, to up the nutrients of our hot cocoa, I'm going to add in two tablespoons of our Multivitamin Max, which is our daily multivitamin that has prebiotics added to it. And what I'm going to do is just take two capsules, open it up, and pour the contents right in. Blend up all of your ingredients well, letting your blender run longer if you'd like to create some foam in your hot cocoa. Pour into a small saucepan and then heat and whisk your hot cocoa over medium heat until you reach your desired temperature. It's that time to give this hot cocoa a taste. I topped mine with a little bit of extra cinnamon because I love cinnamon. I filled this to the very top. That is creamy, a little bit spicy, perfect amount of chocolate, perfect amount of sweetness. And I definitely love how the coconut milk just adds a little bit more volume to this delicious drink. Instead of adding in marshmallows or cream, it's perfect. I hope you give this one a try. Thanks for being with me today. Have a great week, make healthy choices, and I look forward to seeing you next week in the kitchen. Take care, bye-bye.